Artists from across the world are taking part in the 7th Glasgow International Festival, showcasing the best in contemporary art from here and further afield. From painting and sculptures to plays and lectures, the programme officially gets underway tomorrow. Amy Dunsmuir has been along for a preview. Final preparations are underway as artists across the city get ready to unveil their masterpieces. This year, artists from around the world are descending on the Glasgow International Festival. Lawrence Leck is just one of them. His work, QE3, explores our relationship with our industrial heritage. I mean, for someone like me to have to be part of a show at the tramway is an amazing thing. And also because my work in general deals a lot with the idea of post-industrial spaces and how cities and culture as a whole relate to art rather than it being kind of a special elitist thing. So obviously it's, it feels incredible to be part of I think 200 artists in the festival um, and to be in a show at the tramway. More than 60 venues across Glasgow will play host to more than 200 artists over the next two weeks with the hope it will showcase the city as a unique major centre for contemporary visual art. Glasgow is a really rich city for arts in general, but particularly it's been well known for contemporary art for a long time. But also there's a really vibrant, exciting amount of artists who are making work now. And um, the festival brings those all together, but also brings together lots of international artists into the city and looks at ideas that cross between, between the two. This year's festival is about much more than just paintings and installations. This group from Glasgow are holding an experimental music performance about skaters in a roller rink. We're, we're interested in working in different uh, architectural, interesting architectural situations. And as you can see, this room is pretty fantastic. And it has a really specific uh, purpose, which is something we're also interested in. So we're using it as it is meant to be used, but also expanding on those possibilities. If you have seen something to whet your appetite, exhibitions, performances and lectures begin on the 8th of April and run until the 25th. Amy Dunsmuir, STV News, Glasgow.